G'day folks, Connor here from c -Dubs Media, back with another video. And today is a little bit different, just a quick unboxing first impressions of the Galaxy S22. That's right, the Galaxy S22. I went with the smaller model this time instead of the bigger model. I Every year I fight with myself over whether to get the smaller phone or the bigger phone. My heart says get the smaller one, I always end up getting the bigger one. Look at this, the Pixel 6 Pro is almost the same size as the whole box on the Galaxy S22. So that's why I have gone with this small one. Now the first part of this video is going to be really quick. It's going to be me unboxing it and then having a quick look around the outside. And then after that, I'm going to be back in a flash to show you it all set up and ready to go. Now, for those of you interested, I pre-ordered this through Samsung. Uh, I traded in my S21 Ultra and I got this phone for $250 and that included the earbuds. So for me, that's a really good trading deal. Uh, definitely one that I was happy to do. Trade in last year's phone for this year's, pay $250 and get a pair of Galaxy earbuds as well. Okay. Now, shout out to Samsung for ripping us all off and not giving us anything of value except the phone. Now, when did we get a phone with a charging cable, a charging brick, a case, a pair of headphones? We got all that. These days, we don't. We just get the device. Now, I went with Jungle Green, and that looks Jungle Greeny. Wow, I really like that. That's even with the plastic on. Um, just a quick look before we do anything else with that. Already, I can tell you, I love the size of this. And then in here, we have one USB to USB cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, one instruction booklet, and one SIM ejection tool. Let's get rid of that stuff and look at the phone. Oh man, that looks so good. And you know what? It feels really good as well. I'm actually loving it straight away. I can tell that I'm gonna be just over the moon with this design because it has that straight sides to it. The edges are really straight, but they don't feel too sharp. Actually, they don't feel sharp at all. I believe, just to be honest, I think that is copying Apple a little bit. So I'm not surprised there to see it making a comeback because that, Apple iPhone 13 mini or whatever it is, is a really nice looking phone. It is small and it has these nice sharp edges. They sort of went back a few years in terms of the design. So really good to see this here on the Samsung S22. Now this is a 6.1 inch display, which I have gone with. HDR10 plus 120 Hertz refresh rate. So really, really top quality display here. This is a 128 gigabyte model and comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. Here we have a 50 megapixel camera and then I think 12 and 10 megapixel. And the 10 megapixel is the telephoto, the 12 is the ultra wide and the 50 megapixel is like your standard zoom or just wide angle zoom. So there we go. There it is looking really good. And I believe it's a 10 megapixel camera on the front as well. There we go, boot it up. We've got 58% of battery. So, let's look around the rest of it. Power button here, volume up and down here, and there's your lenses that do protrude a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I just love that color. I'm really stoked I got this. Looking forward to the earbuds coming. Paired up with my Galaxy Watch 4 LTE model. I'm back on Samsung. Just to give a couple of size comparisons, it has got a bit of a rock on it. but it won't have with the case on it. This is the Pixel 6 Pro, which is massive, too big. So this is why I've gone with a smaller phone because these phones are just way too big. And here's the S21 Ultra. So there you go. Pixel 6 Pro, Galaxy S22 standard and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I am so glad to have this small phone back in the house. I'm gonna love it. The last phone I really loved was the Pixel 3, which was about smaller than this, and I loved it due to that size. I mean, I'm very active, I do a lot of running. I'm always out and about doing my thing, 
So to have something small, not taking up all the bulk is important to me, but still having some pretty good cameras and a nice display. I think the only area where I might be slightly disappointed with is going to be with the battery life, which is 3,700 milliamp hour battery life, but I don't think it's too big of a problem because I'm always connected. I'm connected at my bedside, I'm connected with Android Auto in the car, I'm connected at the office via a wireless Belkin speaker that I use all the time. So I'm going to go set this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I've got to tell you, so far, I'm really digging the feel and the design of the Galaxy S22. Display looks amazing. Holding it in the hand feels amazing. It's just that one thing where I'm paranoid about dropping it. So just quickly, while I'm waiting for Samsung to send me the case I bought from them, I bought this one off Amazon because it was like one day delivery time. It is the cheapest case I could find because I just don't want to break this beautiful new phone, which is probably, probably my luck if I would do that, get the phone and drop it. So links down below if you do want to pick up one of these cases, like I said, super cheap and they're just enough to cover it. It's nice and clear. As you can see, the case is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but to my surprise, the phone isn't really. The phone is not really a fingerprint magnet. I mean, I've been holding this for 20 minutes setting it up and it's definitely not a fingerprint magnet, except for the display there. That's looking pretty fingerprinty. So, so we're just gonna have a quick look and a bit of a scroll through and all my apps are still downloading and the phone is getting quite hot, but it is doing what it's supposed to do. And I love the feel of it. I mean, it's fairly responsive. It's as responsive as it's supposed to be, especially when it's got like 90 apps downloading across onto it. I did just take a couple of quick photos on it. So we'll have a quick look at some of these. So there is the Google TV remote control. That was the first photo I took on it. Then there is one of the lounge room in low light, which looks pretty good as well. Then there is one, a wide angle one of the lounge room, low light. You can see a bit of blur, a bit of weird stuff going on on the um, bean bag here, but it's low light and it's the wide angle lens, so I'm not too concerned about that. Then we have a couple of selfies here. This is on the front facing camera. And that does not look too bad. I love the portrait mode on these Galaxy phones. I think they look really cool. Um, and this is no different on the S22. There's a bit of a picture of the S21 Ultra, the phone case. And there's another one taken with the zoom lens, which doesn't look too bad either. So all in all, not bad. And I will just quickly take a photo of something here. just to see in really good light, because we are in really good light. And this is a photo of that knife on the table. And that looks really good. Now, I don't, I've heard that the camera on this is not as good as the Pixel 6 Pro, which is here. So I will do some comparisons with that over the next weeks, also with the Galaxy S21 Ultra to see if this camera actually stacks up and whether downgrading or upgrading is worth it. Now, I will just quickly show you as well, we do have, where am I? Now, we do have the Qualcomm variant here and we have the Andrino 730. Now, the Qualcomm is a Snapdragon 8450, eighth gen, and it's four nanometers. I've heard some different things about this, but we'll see how it goes. I am gonna do gaming on it. Going to do a full review on this, so definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to see more because I'll be doing one of my full reviews. So, you know, if those who have been around for a while will know what they are like. So far, I'm digging it. It's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. I, again, the size of it for me is why I got it. That for me is perfect. I do a lot of running, a lot of active stuff, so just having a nice small phone to pull around with me. While I'm out doing my thing, it's great. My primary camera is a Canon R6. So I don't really have a full need for the whole S21 Ultra Pixel 6 Pro iPhone 13 Pro camera setup. This is enough for me for what I do and then using my Canon R6 to, for all the rest. So questions down below, what do you want to see in the full review? I know I want to cover the battery life. I know I want to cover the camera and the video quality and also that day-to-day -day performance. I know some of you will want to see gaming as well, but anything else, hit me up in the comments down below. 
I can't wait to fully put this phone to the test. Without further ado, thank you for watching the video. Links down below to this and the case. Thank you, and I love you all. Catch you in the next video. Check you.